everyone, so today's video is going to be a rundown of my back to school makeup essentials. So in this video I'm going to be talking you through my current favourite products that I think would be great for back to school. Obviously I'm not going back to school, I'm 23 so I left school quite a long time ago. So this video is kind of going to double as half back to school makeup essentials and half kind of my favourite drugstore products for a kind of neutral everyday look which I think is kind of what I always bought for school. I don't know about you guys but um, at my school I wasn't really allowed to wear kind of really bright makeup, I was just allowed to wear kind of neutral and obviously because it's everyday you're kind of not going to be wearing kind of crazy makeup every single day. So first of all concealer. Now I was going to talk about foundation a little bit but to be honest I didn't really wear foundation at school that much. I used to just kind of bung on a little bit of concealer um, if I had any blemishes or anything under my eyes and not really bother with foundation. If you do want to wear foundation then I'd recommend a kind of mineral based foundation. Um, my favourite at the moment is the Bourjois Delice de Soleil, which is amazing. This is actually a bronzing foundation, so you have half of it as bronzer, half of it is foundation, and you can kind of either mix and match the colours until you get your perfect shade, or you can do what I do and use one half as a foundation and the other half as a bronzer, and it's kind of a two-in-one product. So if you do want to use a foundation, I think mineral foundations are amazing for back to school because they kind of double as a foundation with the coverage but then also a powder so they kind of mattify your skin as well. If you can't get hold of Bourjois where you live, another one that I love is Bare Minerals. It's kind of the classic original mineral foundation but I like this the best out of any mineral foundation that I've used at the moment so yeah. Um, I would recommend those two. As for concealer, I have two favourite drugstore concealers and they're actually not only my favourite drugstore concealers, but my favourite concealers of all time. And I think they'd be amazing to kind of throw in your bag at school if you need to top up, kind of if you have any blemishes or whatever, which I do at the moment, which I'm not going to point out because that's kind of gross. Anyway, um, the first one is Sonia Kashuk's Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette, which contains three shades of concealer and one shade of powder. And I just absolutely love this. The only downside is that you can only get this in the States, in Target, and I think it's $9.99. Um, you can't get it in the UK, but if you are in the UK, don't despair because um, Collection 2000, I think this is Lasting Finish Concealer, all of the writing is rubbed off mine, is also amazing and that's $3.99. It's really, really good and Gemma or Gems Maquillage actually pointed this out to me. If you kind of tap it into any areas where you have um, large pores, it actually fills in your pores as well, which is really good. So they're my kind of essential concealers that I would always kind of carry around with me in my makeup bag. Love those. Moving on to blushes, there are two blushes that I think are amazing for having kind of in your bag for top ups and stuff. The first one is Bourjois Pop Rouge, and this is in my favourite colour, which is number 16, and it's kind of a peachy pink. I'll just show you, the brush fell out. That is the colour of the blush, really pretty, really kind of like a natural everyday colour, and the brush they come with is actually pretty decent. Normally, the brushes that come with blushes. I tend to throw away because they're usually just not very good, but this is actually quite good because it's curved. Comes with a little mirror, they smell nice, and yeah, they stay on for quite a long time too, which is really good. And they're about £7, I think. This is a limited edition um, Paris one, but you can just get them with the normal with the bourgeois written on the front. I think they're only available in Europe, so if you're in the States, then my next choice might be a better option for you. It's Maybelline's Dream Touch Blush in peach. And I have only just discovered these blushes but I absolutely love them. They have the most gorgeous kind of creamy consistency and peach is just a really pretty kind of natural flush colour which is here. It really really reminds me of um, what is it? The Stila Convertible Colour in Lilium which I have and I'm kind of gutted that I have it because this is a way cheaper alternative. Um, yeah so I love that really really nice and cream blushes are great for school as well because you can just um, top them up kind of as you go, you don't need a brush, you can use your finger um, and they leave just a really natural kind of um, glowy look to your face so love that. The next thing that I was going to talk about, everything is kind of not in a good order here, um, is eye products. Now eye palette wise I don't think you can get any better than the Naked palette from Urban Decay um, for a kind of everyday neutral eye look. It has pretty much every colour you would want and also this colour here, Naked, I use for my brows as well. Um, if this isn't in your budget or if you can't get hold of one because they're often sold out 
then I do have a couple of drugstore alternatives to that. The first one I found yesterday, and I got so excited when I found this, I've actually done a blog post today on it, and there are swatches on there, so if you want to see kind of up close swatches of this palette, then check out my blog, I'll link it in the information bar below. But it is from MUA, which is Super Drugs, very, very cheap and affordable makeup line. This was £4 for 12 eyeshadows, and I think that's a really, really good deal. And as you can see, they are all gorgeous, gorgeous neutral colours. If I just swatch one of them for you, they're really nicely pigmented, super cheap and amazing. So a great alternative if you either can't stretch to the Naked palette or if you can't find one, then this is a really great alternative that you can get in your local Superdrug. If you're not in the UK, um, another alternative to this, I know it's not quite as big a palette, but the colours are really, really pretty, is Revlon's Coffee Bean. Sorry, I didn't even say the name of the palette. The MUA palette is Heaven and Earth palette. The Revlon one is Coffee Bean, and if I just swatch these for you, you will be able to see really, really gorgeous, kind of nice neutral colours, and they're nicely pigmented, they stay on for a long time as well. They're meant to be 12 hour eyeshadows, which they probably would be with a primer, but I would definitely use a primer if you want them to last all day. But yeah, that's a really kind of good alternative if you can't get hold of a kind of neutral palette. This is really nice for kind of every day. For eyeliners, my favourite ones at the moment, and these just happen to be affordable, they're actually my favourite out of all of the eyeliners that I own at the moment, are the Max Factor Liquid Effect eyeliners, which look like this. And I'm not sure if these are available um, outside of the UK yet. I know Max Factor is, but I tried to search for these on a US website and I couldn't find them, so I'm not sure about international availability. But, if you're in the UK, these are great, you can get them in Boots and Superdrug. And they're meant to look like liquid eyeliner, but I don't think they do. I think they kind of stay on like liquid eyeliner, but I don't think they actually look like liquid eyeliner. So that's the black one, um, and that is the purple one, which I love, which is Lilac Flame. I just think it's a really, really gorgeous colour, and it's quite subtle as well, so for every day. If you want to add a little bit of colour, but not for it to be super, super bright, then I think Lilac Flame is a really good choice. Um, yeah, these are really good and they stay on all day. They're kind of very similar to the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners if you've tried those. So I think these are kind of good, a lot cheaper option. And then for mascara, um, my favourite drugstore mascara of all time. I love this mascara. Both the formulation, the wand, how it stays on, everything is Maybelline the Falsies. And this is actually the, I think it's Extra Black or Black Drama um, edition with the lace, which is really pretty. So yeah, that's my favourite kind of drugstore pick for mascaras, which I would say would be great for back to school because it stays on really nicely and it gives you a really kind of pretty effect on your eyelashes. Love that. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about are lip products. And my favourite thing that I used to use when I was at school are tinted lip balms because I never used to be a big one for lipstick or even really lip gloss at school because I just think it's kind of... Um, a bit of a hassle to kind of do it and also I used to spend quite a lot of time outside and if you're outside and it's windy and you get hair stuck in your lip gloss it's kind of not a good look so um, I love tinted lip balm and my favourite ones at the moment are the Burt's Bees tinted lip balms this one is in Tiger Lily which is a really gorgeous kind of corally peach colour so you can see there, really really nice, I love that one um, and they taste really kind of like nice and fruity and fresh which is cool too Another product that I'd recommend for school is um, lip stains, the lip stain pens or lip markers. And this one is from Maybelline, it's their colour sensational one in Tender Rose, which is this colour here. And I just think they're really, really good because they stay on your lips for a really long time. They don't leave you with any kind of um, residue on your lips, they're just kind of a stain. So like I said, if you're outside and it's windy, you don't want to get your hair stuck in your lipstick. Um, these are really good. So I like these. And the Maybelline ones are my favourite because they taste amazing. They smell like, I don't know, some kind of fruit punch or something. They smell really, really good and fruity and nice. So yeah, that's it. They are my back to school makeup essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any particular back to school makeup essential products, then let me know in a comment below if you have the time. I love reading through comments. So leave me a comment and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.